Hello, chocolate lovers. I would like to present, how to create, a, delicious, chocolate bar text effect, in, Adobe Illustrator. You will use, the blend tool effects, like, roughen, and, chrome, different blending modes, and, also the, 3D extrude, and bevel effect, to create, perfect chocolate squares. Let's begin. Here, I have used, the Adobe Illustrator CC. You can use it, or, another like, Adobe Illustrator, CS6. Open, a new document, by, file, new. Under the, new document window, select, width, 600, height, 600. And, write the project name, chocolate text effect. Click, create button. Take, the rectangle tool, and, draw a, 16 by 16 pixels, square. Fill it, with the, brown color, which, R equals 111, G equals 58, B equals 16. Having, this square selected, go to, Effect menu, Distort and Transform, and, apply the, Transform effect. In the, Transform effect panel, vertical is, 16 pixels, copies, 7, check the preview, and, Click, OK. From the, Object menu, select, Expand Appearance. Then, ungroup twice, and, you obtain the, 8 squares, you need further. Now, let's compose, the letters. Select, the column, of 8 squares, and, while, holding the, Alt key, drag them, to duplicate the, entire column. Do the, same thing again, to obtain the, three columns, that, you will use, for each, of the letters. Next, put the, four squares, and, multiply them, out plus drag, to get, the letter C. For the, letter, H, all you need, are two copies, of the three columns, then, put other, two squares between them. The letter, O, is similar, only delete the, four squares, in the corners. Duplicate, the letters, C, and, O, and, now, you have, all the letters. Now, all of the letters, for word, Chaco, is ready, for next process. At this step, copy, of the, brown square. Take the, ellipse tool. Draw a, ellipse, which, width is, 32 pixels, and, height is, 32 pixels. Place the, circle, on top, of the square, and, make sure that, the center, of the circle, intersects, the bottom left corner, of the square, Select, both shapes, and, click Intersect, Shape Areas, Expand, from the, Pathfinder panel. In the Pathfinder panel, click, Crop. Next, delete the, indicated squares, of the letter, C, and, put, in their place, the, rounded corners. Now, keep select, this object, click the, right button. On it, select, transform, reflect. In the reflect panel, check, horizontal, and, click, copy. Now, selected object, reflected copy, will be make, horizontally. Placed, this object, as a, suitable position, of the corner, in the, letter, C. Copy, and, paste these object. Place them, other corner, of the letter, C. Using the, rounded corner object, replace the, square corner object, of the letter, C. 
According to the image below, you can replace the squares, same as the previous. Take a copy of the brown square. Then, go to the Effect menu, 3D, and apply the Extrude and Bevel effect. Choose the front position of 15 points, Extrude Depth, and Rounded as the Bevel Shape. You just obtained a perfect square of chocolate. Now, go to the Appearance panel and drag the thumbnail into the Graphic Styles panel to save it. Select all the squares that compose a letter and apply the style saved earlier. Then you can see the all object has been replaced by the chocolate square. Take the rectangle tool and Draw a rectangle behind the letters. Right click on the rectangle and go to Arrange, Send to Back, then text will be shown over the background. Now go to Effect Menu, Distort and Transform, Roughen, and in the Roughen Effect panel, Size, 2%, Detail, 3 point smooth check preview and click OK from the object menu select expand appearance then object will be ungroup having the resulting shape selected go to object menu path offset path and in the offset path panel apply a 10 pixels offset value check preview and click OK Keep select the object, and, fill color value is, R equals 50, G equals 22, B equals 15. Keep select, the inner object, and, fill it, by the color value, R equals 81, G equals 42, B equals 12. Now go to, object menu, blend, Blend Options. In the Blend Option panel, select Spacing, Smooth Color, and click OK. Now, go back to Object, Blend, Make. Select Inner Background Object, and we would like to apply Linear Gradient on it. In the Gradient panel, set a Gradient Point in 0% position, and Set the RGB color value R equals 255, G equals 255, B equals 255. Set a gradient point in 25% position and set the RGB color value R equals 80, G equals 89, B equals 91. Set a gradient point in 50% position, and, set the, RGB color value, R equals 147, G equals 147, B equals 147, set A, gradient point, in 75% position, and, set the, RGB color value, R equals 80, G equals 89, B equals 91, set A, gradient point in 100% position and set the RGB color value R equals 214 G equals 214 B equals 214 next go to effect menu sketch and apply the chrome effect in the chrome effect panel detail equals 6 smoothness equals 9 and, click OK. In the, Transparency panel, 
select the blending mode multiply and reduce the opacity 25 percent copy and paste the same shape twice leave one of them where it is and move the second one to the right select both shapes and click subtract from shape area expand from the pathfinder panel next having all these small shapes selected go to effect blur gaussian blur and apply a 14 pixels radius then in the transparency panel set opacity 70 percent at this step you need two other copies of the same shape used earlier move one of them up then repeat the previous step to obtain more highlights select both shapes and click subtract from the pathfinder panel select cyan color from the color picker go to effect blur gaussian blur and apply a 26 pixels radius grab the pencil tool draw some irregular shape for the lighten effect over the chocolate keep selected those shapes and apply cyan color from the color picker set opacity 50 percent go to effect blur gaussian blur and apply 17.5 pixels radius same process you can apply more area to be lighten effect over the chocolate grab the ellipse tool draw the circle from the color picker set its color RGB value is R equals 81 G equals 42 B equals 12 resize it as your demand and go to object menu expand appearance now go to effect warp arc in the arc panel bend minus 21 percent horizontal minus 26 percent vertical minus 27 percent and click OK again go to object menu expand appearance same way you can create some on the irregular ellipse for the tiny chocolate pieces select all of the tiny chocolate pieces go to effect stylize and apply the inner glow effect in the inner glow panel apply mode color RGB color is R equals 58 G equals 31 B equals 11 and mode multiply opacity 75 percent blur 5 pixels grab the pen tool and draw a small ellipse over the tiny chocolate pieces to be highlighted this from the color picker set this small ellipse color RGB color is R equals 223 G equals 212 B equals 208 keep selected this object go to effect blur Gaussian blur in the Gaussian blur panel set the radius 9.2 in the transparency panel set opacity 60% same process you can apply others tiny chocolate pieces to be highlighted now you can place all of the tiny pieces of chocolate arranged randomly around the letters select previously created chocolate squares go to object expand appearance select using the direct selection tool only the front square from the group go to object menu path and select 
Add anchor points twice. Use these anchor points and draw the red paths between them. Turn on its stroke color and set the stroke color red. In the brush panel, go to Open Brush Library, Artistic, Artistic Ink. Select Tapered Stroke. Reduce the stroke weight to 0.05 points. Use these anchor points as reference and draw the three red paths between them. Select all of them and go to the object menu and select expand appearance. Keep this three strokes selected. Go to gradient panel. In the gradient panel, 0% position location, RGB color value is R equals 67, G equals 35, B equals 10. In the gradient panel, 50% position location, RGB color value is R equals 142, G equals 87, B equals 48. In the gradient panel, 100% position location, RGB color value is R equals 67, G equals 35, B equals 10. Place this chocolate piece and replace some of the chocolate piece in the text object. Copy and paste this chocolate piece. Repeat this process where you would like to replace it. All that is left to do is to add some shadows behind the letters. For that, you need the copies of the letters. Select this copy letter in the Pathfinder panel. Select Unite. Fill it with dark brown. Then go to Effect, Blur, and apply a 49 pixels Gaussian Blur. Select this and click on the Arrange, Bring to Front. Overlap this shadow over the letter Chocolate Piece. Do the same thing for the other letters. You can save it as in Adobe Illustrator format. You are done and this is the final image. Have a nice day.